Depending on who you ask, the screens in our VR headsets are going backwards. A lot of older headsets used OLED displays, and some people stay on these 5 plus year old headsets not because they can't afford to upgrade, but they actually view newer headsets as a downgrade. So what gives? Sure they might just be stubborn, but why don't newer headsets use OLED? And are we actually moving back towards it? Firstly, who even cares that much? A screen's a screen, right? Well, not really. On an OLED display, each pixel is individually lit. Compare this to other displays where there's one backlight for multiple or even every pixel. This leads to OLED displays having better contrast, basically your colors look more vibrant, and your blacks are actually black, so darker scenes look way better. So why don't newer headsets use OLED displays? And by new, I really mean anything within the last four-ish years. We actually don't know for sure. A lot of people try and cite price as the main reason. This could be the case for some headsets. OLED displays are more expensive than LCDs. In the Quest line of headsets, we went from two OLEDs in the one to one LCD in the two. Try not to mix that one up. For a headset like the Quest 2 that's trying to stay as cheap as possible, it makes sense to do that. But come on, not everything is trying to be cheap. We've seen headsets with OLED for around 500 bucks. So something like a Vive Pro 2, Vario Aero, and X, literally anything not trying to be budget could have included them. I think the more likely reason OLED isn't used often anymore is because of the screen door effect. Basically, you just see the pixels more prominently. This isn't a thing on all OLED displays. It's just that almost every VR headset using them uses screens with a pentile diamond pixel layout. This sub-pixel layout is less dense than others, meaning it looks like it's a lower resolution than it actually is. Considering the only thing some of these headsets have going for them is a high resolution, that isn't exactly very ideal. There's three headsets I've avoided bringing up until now. The PSVR 2, the Quest 3, and the Quest Pro. What do they have in common? A small group of people saying they'd pay literally anything for pancake lenses with OLED displays. Well, let me let you in on something. If there was an engineer out there trying that, they were being paid hourly. It is not at all feasible. You, you hold on. Pancake lenses are really cool. I made a whole video about that anyways. Just know that they're not very light efficient. Combine that with OLED displays which aren't very bright and uh, you can't see. I'd personally rather have pancake lenses over OLED displays, but yes, I suppose both would be ideal. And you can have both, kinda. This is the big screen beyond. It uses pancake lenses and of course, OLED displays. Except it doesn't use OLED displays. It uses micro OLED displays. What's the difference? I have absolutely no clue. I think it's something with how they're produced, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter. What does matter is that they're bright enough to use with pancake lenses, and they also fix the pixel density problem. Perfect! Let's just put those into every headset and call it a day. Really? This is VR we're talking about. Nothing's that easy. These displays are not cheap. The big screen beyond costs a grand, and in my opinion, is a pretty bare bones headset. The price only goes up from there. The Mega NX is gonna cost $1,700. Was going to, what the hell is this? Eh, anyways. And of course, the Apple Vision Pro, $3,500. No comment. It'll eventually get cheaper, but that time is not now. And for the most part, it doesn't even make a difference. The majority of VR users have not used a headset with OLED displays, and quite honestly, probably don't even look at what displays a headset's using when they're buying it. I'd like to take a second to thank my Kofi supporters. Thank you Azti and CJ821. People like you make these videos possible.